What's up guys, my name is Emily. We have Amanda behind the camera. Say hello, Amanda. Hey everyone, Amanda here. Don't worry, we'll both be in front of the camera today as well. We are at the 2020 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We've done quite a few of these boat show videos and you guys always seem to love them. But what we're gonna do this time is something unique for you. We are gonna help you figure out what kind of boat you need. There's so many different boats on the market. There's center consoles, drift boats, cruisers. What else, Amanda? Sport fishes, sailboats. There's an unbelievable amount that it can be really overwhelming. So this video is dedicated to taking you around the show with us, specifically to different types of boats, and helping you guys, if you're in the market for a boat, or if you are in the future, you can come back to this video, to figuring out what boat would be best for you, your family, your friends, what it is that fits your needs. Okay, the very first boat we are on is a deck boat slash cruiser, and this would be your ultimate family boat. This is great for sandbars, cruises, and this boat actually has some history for us. We're on a crown line, and that was our family's very first boat ever. We have to have some pictures pop up for you guys so you can see that we are speaking from the heart. We're not out here trying to pull business deals, guys. This is genuinely, we have history on, the, on boats like these, so this was where we got introduced to the salt life. We are on the 25 foot crown line. Our family had the 24 foot crown line many years ago. So this is basically the same model, just pretty much, what, 10, 15 years later? Probably something like that. If you guys look, we have tons of forward seating. So we have our forward seating up here and we have cup holders. We got some speakers. This is the ultimate sandbar boat. And let's be real, we even have an anchor coming off the bow. And I remember when we were kids, our 24 foot crown line also had this, I said anchor, ladder. I'll probably store an anchor in here as well. But having an anchor off the bow is also just really fun. Makes it easy to get off and on the boat from the shallow end, not the deep end. So if you're a kid or you have kids, having the ladder off the bow and you're at a sandbar, this is like, let's say you're beach somewhere, which is what we did all the time. I remember being a kid and I always got off up here. It was shallow usually out in the back. Obviously it was deep and we were, kids and tiny. <laughs> Let's move on to the helm station. Yes. This helm station has so many memories. I'm not even kidding. I learned to drive a boat at this helm station. And what's cool is the seat actually gets higher for shorter people like us. Or taller people that want to stand. Or tall people. And if you want to stand, you can stand. And drive the boat from here. This one is a single engine. Yep. So the throttle is here and the wheels right here. Very, very traditional cruiser deck boat style. We also have our co-captain's chair. Being twins, one twin always sat in the co-captain chair with mom, and one twin always sat in the captain's chair with dad. It's usually how it went for us. And obviously, it's always nice to have a head on a boat, especially if this is gonna be your family boat. It's great to have a head, especially when you have little ones, or you just wanna go to the sandbar, hang out. And clearly, plenty of seating. Another really cool feature that this boat has on the transom that we used to always take advantage of. You ready? Okay, so first it's a seat. And back then, ours was manual. But watch this. Ta-da! And now it's a David. And you can hang out at the sandbar right here. And you got a full, comfortable place. You can go down, throw some towels out. And being kids, our favorite part was the swim platform. The amount of tricks and flips we did off that swim platform. What do we always do? We used to do front flips. We used to do back flips. We had a lot of fun on that swim platform. I also want to mention something that's really cool is Crown Lines have tons of storage. I remember we used to keep like water skis and wakeboards on our boat. So actually there's even a ski pole spot back here. So you can put right here, you can put a pole in there to go water skiing and because this chair turns into a day bed you can flip it back someone can sit watch your skier make sure they're safe especially if you've got kids or tubers we used to keep tubes on the boat did. and there's tons of storage so underneath here you have tons of storage in here that's where your batteries are but if you look in here see this gray liner so that's designed to help this boat not mold so you're not going to get mold growing in here which is going to help the resale value 
of the boat as well. And I don't know about you, but when boats mold, it just drives me insane. So it's really cool that it has this. Also, don't forget, um, this is your sea on bar boat. So you have tables. So right here, this is where your table's gonna hook up. Our table is right here. Again, look at all the storage. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> keep serious here. Skis, tubes. Here's our table. And Emily, if you want to turn around, there's another table spot right there. Yes. That metal clip in the front, that's another location to put your table. Also, you see we have this bimini top, but it looks like a hard top. Well, it is a hard top. But, ready for this? Where's ready. the button, Emily? Next to the wheel. Pop this one. Ready? Wrong way. Aha! See it coming down? So it comes down. Look at this, guys. The bimini top, the hard top, is coming down. And a good benefit to that is if you're trying to get under a small bridge, you can lower your top. Or, or if, if it's, it's raining, torrential downpour, in torrential downpour, like I said earlier, there's that window that flips open, so, or that windshield, you can put that open, bring this down inside, you stay completely dry. It's like having a cabin on your boat, but on the outside. So it's a hard top, but it folds, folds. Yes, thank you. To sum things up, this would be your ultimate family cruiser boat going to dinner on the intercoastal, going to sandbars, beaches, taking it out on really beautiful dates. Now, something I do want to add is that if you did want to lightly get into fishing and you wanted that option, you can always add rod holders to a boat. So if that's something that you're interested in, but you really want this family, family focused boat for cruising, guys, add some rod holders, bring a couple rods and get into it that way. I also want to add that if for some reason you're extremely into Crown Line, but you want a little bit more fishing, Crown Line just came out with their newest line of boats called Fin Seeker. Fin Seeker is the cruiser fishing hybrid. So we're going to go check that out next. We are on the Fin Seeker by Crown Line, which like we said earlier, is your hybrid family fishing boat. Let's take a look, shall we, Amanda? Let's do it. Okay. Starting with back here, we have a seat and this seat folds up. So it's, it's open right now for when you ha want that family cruising day, but then when you're ready to yellow tail off the back and you need that back deck space, you fold the seat up. We also have, because it's the hybrid family fun fishing boat, we've got rod holders, check this out. Rod holders here. Yeah, so these rod holders, everything is designed to be very seamless on this boat. So back here you look at our cleats, they all pop in and out, keeps things seamless, stops you from stubbing a toe, getting caught on something. Same with the rod holders. And something else, we got this nice foot padding back here, very comfortable, so if you did want to take it to the sandbar and hang off off the back of your boat, you can. We have two live wells on this boat. These are smaller live wells, but they're perfect for shrimp or pinfish. Pinfish, pinfish live. Pinfish in any. Yes, they do. And the other live well is underneath this countertop here. It's a bait cutting station. But like I said, if you have that family day and you need a sandwich making station, this is a perfect sandwich station. Or you got your fish, so you got your live well, or bait cutting station, or clean it with some Clorox afterwards, sandwich making station with stainless steel cup holders. And of course, you have your rod holders because we're a hybrid. So we can make sandwiches at the sandbar. We can hold fishing tackle. We can hold rod holders. What else do we have, Emily? We have more full features. Come up here. We have two garments. We have our Wet Sounds Bluetooth speaker. And, and I do want to add these garments become standard. So this boat comes standard with two of the garments. And something unique to this boat is this one large piece of a windshield. Most boats, especially boats this size, will have a small, I would say, bubble. bubble of a windshield, right? but this is a full windshield, full windshield and it has a vent for really, really hot days where you need some wind. Yes, and this is also a hard top boat, and because it's family friendly, and this is true for any boat, but we got a handle here, and we got a handle down here. So we've got handles everywhere, grandma, grandpa, kids, mom, dad, cousins, you get it all. And yeah, let's move this way. Something important to a lot of people, but maybe not to all fishermen, but to family fishermen is the head. head. So we have a head right here. It's a full head and right there that's a designated spot to store your table when you want to put it away. So our table is right here so you can sit at the sandbar, enjoy your lunch, and then oh I'm gonna go fishing. Put the table away and all of a sudden, well, we got a little cute seat here so you're eating lunch and then 
What she's doing, I'm just comfortable. Okay, now we're going for a cruise. And I got my drink, a sandwich. Her drink, her sandwich, and something else in this boat is the windless um, sea. So, Emily. Yes. Do you like this boat for your family, friends? I think it's great. And something cool about these boats is these price points are all under 100000 So you can get that ultimate family fishing boat for a reasonably decent price. I don't think we mentioned, but this is a 23-foot boat. So for a 23-foot boat, you're getting a lot of space. You're getting a head, tons of seating. You get a table, but the table can get put away. And Fin Seeker, they have a 23. They get bigger. They do 25. And so there's so many options. And guys, like... If I were just getting started and I wanted a sandbar boat, but I wanted the ability to grow into a fishing boat, this would be a really great place to start. Right, Emily? Totally agree with that. If you guys want to buy a fin seeker, check out Boathouse Marine. That's the marina that we work with to take care of our Intrepid, and they do a wonderful job. I think it's time we move on to the intense, hardcore fishing boats. You ready, Amanda? Let's go. The next option that we have for you guys is the offshore center console. We are on a 28 regulator, which actually measures, how many feet does it measure, Amanda? I gotta check my cheat sheet. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> measures 32.6. 32.6, so let's check this, out why. These regulators, they all have this bracket back here, AKA swim platform. So it really gives you a nice boat. You got all this space. Look at that. So this is their 28. What makes this boat more of an offshore boat is the durability of it, the strength of it, the design of it. But what is cool about it is it also has those, some of those family features if you're looking for something for a family. Let's start with the back. We have a nice fish box. And let me tell you something about this fish box, guys. This fish box is refrigerated. And honestly, refrigerated is kind of a understatement. understatement. It's more of like a freezer. So if you put fish in there and you leave that on for a long time, your fish will literally freeze. But so I it's, think... That's Perfect. fantastic for chum. Those of you that are fishing in the Florida Keys and take their chum out to go yellowtailing, I mean, imagine if I could keep my chum in a freezer all day. That'd be amazing. It stays clean, my boat's gonna stay nice and clean, nice and pretty, and what's actually funny is regulators are very, very common in the Northeast where it's really rough all the time. So who wouldn't want a boat that's designed to handle rough weather all the time in Florida? This is the tuna door right here, you guys can see that. So you can reel in your 200 pound swordfish, or you can go diving. <laughs> You can go diving from there. And this is the live well. You guys can see it's a pretty nice sized live well. It is really good, good for pilchards. Great live well. I would blast this out with pilchards in a heartbeat. And as you can see, we got rod holders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Additionally, we, we have here. here and here. And rod holders is something, don't forget, you can add rod holders all day long. So if you're one of those guys that wants 40 rod holders up to the bow, it's all you. That's personal choice. And down here we have our tackle stations and something actually this fishing girl is really excited about. There's a little spot for you to store your fishing line. So we turn this knob, pop this out, we slide our leaders on, and just like that your fishing line has storage. I've never seen a boat designed with that. Standard. Plain old tackle boxes. These are perfect drawers for sinkers. Sinkers. Ooh, vertical jigs, vertical slow pitch jigs, jigs. pliers, pliers, all of it, lay knives. This is a seat that opens up, so you can fish hardcore on this thing. This would be the family alternative, right? And something I think we should mention is how hardy this hardware is, guys. I wish you could feel it. Look at this handle. It's so sturdy, so strong. I mean, it's it was hard enough for me to get it open. But that's important, that's really important. No, seriously, that means it's not gonna fall. I have found boats before where I was sitting back here and we were in rough seas bouncing and the whole seat collapsed and I landed on my butt. So it's really nice to have boats that you know are gonna be durable. Like I said, these boats are popular in the Northeast, which makes them great offshore boats. Up at the helm, we have this up giant up at the helm. We are up at the, the forward the bow. seating, the bow. <laughs> Guys, I have fish brain and I'm not even fishing. Down below, we have this giant fish box. You ready? Yes. Look so how huge this thing is. It's ginormous. Open it up. Giant fish box. Emily could probably fit in there. Probably. I dare you to sit. Can I close you in? I'm not going to do that to you. Don't worry. So <laughs> Emily fits in the fish box, but if for some reason you didn't want to fish, this is also great storage. And get out. I do want to do one thing. I have thing. something to mention before I get out. Something that I want to point out about these boats is that they are not, they don't come in multiple pieces, if that makes sense. So some boats, these 
fish boxes and liables will be added after the fact, but this fish box is in the molding, so it's not gonna collapse. It won't, we have had our live well, let me put it this way, our floor well fall, like separate yeah. from the deck. That and it fell happened. into the boat, I guess you could say. <laughs> yes. But this will not happen. It's solid. It's one piece. And so if you notice, there's no caulk lines anywhere. No screws. No screws. No so bolts. one piece, like Emily said, this will not fall into the boat that has happened to us before. It's quite the boat. expensive project. Yes. Up front, we have seating, which is great. But don't forget, all of these cushions come off, and actually, one of my favorite parts is this table. For one, it can completely go away. We can take it, there's a designated storage spot for it in the console. But this thing can actually be lowered down to this height, right here, okay? You can lower it down to here, remove all the cushions, and you have a casting platform. So if you're short and you're bait fishing, you have somewhere to stand, but not just somewhere like, oh, I'm gonna stand on the edge of the gunnel. Like, no, I'm gonna stand on my entire casting platform. I can sight fish from Ahi's up here. I can throw my cast out on pelters up here. So for someone that's, sh that's short or family oriented, or you wanna teach your kid how to throw their first cast net, this would be a great place to do it. Or you can have sandwiches. Or you can have sandwiches. And that's what's cool. And with Regulator, I think they really thought everything through. They wanted it to be a hardcore fishing boat, but they still wanted, they called it creature comforts. So up here, there are USB ports for your iPhone to charge. And I know that'd be really convenient for us because we are filming a lot. And sometimes when we're out filming, there's a USB port. Sometimes when we're out filming, we are desperate for some battery life and juice. And something else that I'm really excited about, Those of you that have windlasses or really always want to have a windlass on your boat, this windlass has a switch up front. So look right here. So I don't have to yell at Emily at the helm what to do with her windlass. I can do it all up here where I have clear view of it. So in my opinion, this is just a great safety feature when it comes to anchoring. Another creature comfort feature on this boat is a full head. And I mean, let me actually stand in there to show you how much space you have. So I'm 5'3". Okay, going down. And, oh wow, that's really tall. <laughs> so if you're so, six foot. If I'm 5'3", how high would you say my hands reach? At least another foot over your head. So you could be six foot tall and stand tall in here. So that's really nice. We are personally, we don't use heads on our boats because I don't want to have to clean them, but they are easy to clean, so that's not a big deal. If you do want your head, you can have it. Or you can honestly put rods down here. I mean, oh, yeah. you got the room for it. And right here, this is our designated table holder. So if you say, I don't want that table anywhere near or anywhere in my way, I just want to fish, you can put your table right here. I think that summarizes a perfect offshore boat. This is 28 foot, measures at a 31.6. So this is a great offshore boat that has creature comforts, but is a fishing boat that's durable. It's a machine. It's a machine, it's durable, you're gonna slice the waves. Something about Regulator is it's a very heavy boat, which means it's gonna really push through the sea, and it's gonna tell the sea what to do. The sea's not telling you what to do. The next boat we're gonna go ahead and check out is a Regulator 41. So that would be a great boat for overnight trips, where you can actually sleep inside the boat. This is the 41 foot regulator. This is your next level offshore boat. This is what I would want if I was making regular trips to the Bahamas or to Pulley Ridge or overnight fishing trips. Oh my gosh, imagine this boat to Pulley Ridge. That would be amazing. So first of all, you just need to see how large this boat is, but then because we're talking about overnight trips, we're gonna show you that cabin inside. So go ahead and look at all the space back here. Emily, do me a favor and just stand like in the middle so we can really get the visual. Look at that. Look at how tiny this boat makes her. <laughs> this boat makes her so tiny. So just like the 28, we have a nice live well right here. We have our refrigerated, or I like to call freezer. This is the same thing. This is our second live well that I would be blacking out with pilchards and go into the humps to catch black fin tunas. Something else I want to point out is the larger models of regulators, instead of having a tuna door, they actually have a dive door. So check this out. This is the dive door. So it's great for scuba diving and also, of course, if you catch that 300 pound swordfish that you're trying to get in the Imagine boat. Imagine a 300 pound swordfish from here to there. I mean, that fish might even be able to lay flat. Oh yeah, for sure. A hundred percent. And we have 
Nice seating back here. Wonderful Lots seats. Of rod Look at all. I mean, there's a. It's a rainbow of rod holders. One, two, three. It's a rainbow. The prime reason? The prime what? I'm trying to look for the right term. An amazing feature. An amazing feature of the 41 for overnight trips is this cuddy. And first of all, cuddy. I want to point out You're it's not it a cuddy? it's a cabin. But I want to point out that because it's a center console, the cabin is inside the center console. So really quickly before we go inside, good point. Just walk up there and show that you still have all this fishing space. Right. So it's still a walk around center console with tons of sleeping space. Please remember tables can go wherever you want them to go. It can be your world's largest casting platform if you like, which would be great on a boat this size because you see how high the gunnels are, which makes for a nice dry ride. But because the gunnels are so high, it's gonna be really nice to have your casting platform as well. Back to the cabin that, like I mentioned, is inside the console. Let's go, you ready? Go inside. We not only have a place to sleep, we have a kitchen, a full bathroom. Why don't you come down here, Amanda? I'm coming down. We have a shower. Look at this, we have a full shower, a full kitchen sink. Kitchen, bathroom sink. Bathroom sink. That is bathroom. the second sink. This is the second sink, yes. We have a bathroom sink, we have a towel rack, we have a mirror, I'm just gonna say hello. Look at this, you guys. Someone that is what eight foot tall could stand in here oh yeah this thing is so tall we have our kitchen a kitchen sink let's go ahead that's the fridge we have a refrigerator with cold water i think i'm gonna take one hey, give me one please it's really hot today at the boat show guys we have our kitchen stove a microwave it's something that i really like about in here it's plenty of storage but something i really like actually is the colors I personally really love these colors. I think it gives it a modern touch. It's very bright and airy. It's not, they're not dark colors. They're very light colors. Makes the room feel bigger too. And go ahead, Emily, why don't you just go ahead? I know that there's a table here right now, but lay down or show us how much space you have. All right. If you were to sleep here, which is perfect, like we said, for your overnight trips, you would put your feet down this way and your head down that way. I mean, you could fit like four and I'm not even as like, you can go way back there, and yep. you have a, mi a mirror. Uh, you have a TV. TV. You have a TV in here. So this is would be an amazing boat to take to Bimini, West End, Chub K, the Abacos. I would take Pulley this Ridge, thing. the Dry Tortugas. Minus going to Pulley Ridge on this boat, my dream trip on this boat would probably be island hopping the Bahamas. Right, Emily? Oh, I'd yeah. go see the pigs. I would. What, what would I do? I'd see the pigs. I would fish. I would dive. I would come down here and cook my lobster that I caught <laughs> or I would take this boat to Pulley Ridge. It would be an amazing boat for Pulley Ridge. You have somewhere to sleep. You have plenty of shade. Speaking of shade. If you guys look, this boat has a retractable sure shade. So you have all this shade right here, which would be so nice. And today with the direction of the sun, it's actually the shade on the bow that we're going to be getting. But don't forget, you could turn the boat any which way with your Yamaha Hellmaster to have the shade exactly where you wanted it. That pretty much summarizes the Regulator 41. And don't forget, all these. this one has a tower. The 28 can have a tower if you're really, really important and you want to be looking for sailfish. The tower, I'm a diehard tower fan. So that summarizes the Regulator 41. It's super durable, hardcore fishing boat, but it's also so big that there's a full cabin to sleep in. You can run this thing to Pulley Ridge. There's a full day bed up front. Not to mention the Sea Keeper. Not to mention the Sea Keeper. The Regulator 41 comes with a Sea Keeper. We hope that this video helped you guys figure out what boat would be best for you. Obviously, there's so many more options. We didn't even touch sport fishes or the mega yachts. I'm sure there's people out there that may want a mega yacht. So hopefully, we gave you a better idea of what it is that you might be looking for. At the end of the day, you're going to have to think about what it is you want the boat for and go from there. Now guys, what's cool about the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is that I'm starving and there's some food trucks behind me. So we hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go get something to eat. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and comment, follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.